have a really amazing opportunity with a piece of recently clear felled land in the highlands. We're aiming to restore habitats on site, to reintroduce locally extinct species, and inspire people to engage in the natural environment. I'm Robert Spencer. I'm head of sustainable development at ACOM. So the goal of the Natural Capital Laboratory is to create a body of knowledge and evidence and tools and techniques for understanding how business, industry and infrastructure can interact with nature in a more fruitful way. So we've got the three legs of the stool, ACOM, the Lifescape Project and the landowners, Amelia and Roger, who had this vision to rewild an area of land. They are quite a place up in Scotland, 100 acre site, and we're working with them now as part of the Natural Capital Laboratory. The environmental consultancy sector is going through a very significant transition at the moment. Many of our clients have set themselves targets to make better decisions in future about how they interact with nature. Instead of business and industry and infrastructure being over here and nature being over there, we are very much coming together that will enable much better investment decisions and ongoing daily business decisions. And the two key tools that we're using is remote sensing using satellite data and using drones to also capture parts of the spectrum that you can't see with the naked eye. We're putting all that data together in a way that creates a whole picture of what's going on with the natural systems at that site. What we want to do is visualize and make it immediately accessible. The usual way of presenting a natural capital assessment is a rather dry series of Excel spreadsheets. Our approach is to make that much more accessible. We've set up a social and natural capital dashboard. It's an interactive, visually engaging way of understanding the natural systems and how society can interact and benefit from them. We've also developed a digital twin of the site, which allows us to really explore different scenarios of land management and different restoration activities without actually having to undertake any activities on the ground. We have some really exciting plans for year two with the use of environmental DNA techniques to better kind of understand and explore what types of species are on site. You essentially take soil samples or water samples and through laboratory analysis, you're able to kind of pick up all of the different DNA that's within that. One of the key things we want to do in the coming year is actually focus much more on the ways in which we can engage local community stakeholders in the social value of large expanses of natural capital and understanding natural capital assets. We have started to develop virtual reality experiences to show people within the local community who really will be inheriting the land after the Natural Capital Lab is done what site management activities we're undertaking, and also what different ecological features will look like for that site. One of the areas that we want to move into is also looking at international partnerships as well to replicate this model more widely in different countries and different geographies and different habitats and whole ecosystems. We're sharing all of these findings so that people who are working on larger scale projects can kind of learn from what we're doing to see what kind of pieces they want to take on board. This work at the Natural Capital Laboratory is a tiny contribution to our understanding globally of how humans and society can interact much better with natural systems and have a better relationship with wildlife and biodiversity going forward. You know, we've got a lot planned. We've only been going for a year at the site, but you know, there's so much more to do. Being able to be involved in a project like this is really, uh, really a privilege. <laughs>